watoto walioachwa na madam Jane wale wote wa ukoo wa mwalimu kwambaye na waombolezaji wote ambao mmeweza kupata nafasi kwa ajili ya kuipa familia hii pole hamjambo kuna, kuna nyakati nyakati mimi si mzee sana lakini kuna nyakati ambapo uh, watu hata wakisalimiana katika mazishi hawakuwa wanajibu siku hizi tunajibu so hamjambo kifo ni lazima kwa wa, kwa waislamu wanasema kwamba kuzaliwa ni bahati na kufa ni lazima ndivyo wanavyosema pingine kwa waislamu hatuna slogan ya aina hiyo lakini ukweli ni kwamba kifo ni lazima katika utamaduni wangu tunasema kwamba eti kifo ni cha zamani lakini hata hivyo kinapotokea katika familia kinapokutokea wewe wewe kama mhusika si cha zamani tena kwa sababu kifo kinapotokea kama ni mhusika wa familia hakirudi tena huyo hata kufa tena akifa amekufa Nibe basi ndugu kwa mbaye tunajua kwamba hakika wakati huu hata tunapozungumza hivi mawazo yako mbali kitu nataka kushukuru kwa sababu ya uvumilivu wako Mbapo walikuwa nafanya kazi yake hungesoma mawazo hayo katika uso wake wakati mwingine nikiongea naye nikimpata nasema habari ya madam yuko ma lakini uwezi kusoma ya upendo wa aina hiyo tunashukuru kwa sababu kwa kujitolea uh, kumtunza kumlinda na kuhusika katika uh, afya ya madam Jen ambaye amelala. Tunataka pia kuwashukuru watoto ambao pia kwa njia moja au nyingine wamehusika kwa kumtunza mama wao mpendwa. Napo na, napo muuliza mwakilishi wa members of the BOG ambaye yuko hapa ndugu yangu anapo a, a, aje aongee jambo moja na nataka kumtayarisha. Hiyo basi ni kusema hivi kwamba kila mmoja wetu ambaye yuko hapa hizi ni nyakati ngumu. Si mnaona? The cancers we are talking about were unheard of even as as early as even in the even in the year 2000 really cancers were unheard of especially in developing nations such as ours. But these days they are so common among other diseases. So ni kusema hivi kwamba watu wajipange. Watu wajitayarishe. Maana kifo kinatokea wakati wote siku hizi hata mtu agonje kigonjiki hivi ili umwandame umtazame umwambie pole mara moja tu hivi unasikia fulani amelala fulani ametoweka basi ni kusema kwamba kila mmoja wetu aliye hapa na naamini hao wote ni wakristo watu wajiandae watu wajitayarishe kwa sababu wezi jua wakati wako wezi jua saa yako lakini tukijiandaa hata tukilala tutakuwa tumelala upande wake Mwenyezi Mungu. Ninapokamilisha nataka kuwatakia kila laheri. Unyote mliokuja hapa walimu wenzangu mimi pia ni mwalimu tenga waniko katika kazi hii wakati huu. Walimu wenzangu asante kwa kumuunga mkono rafiki yetu. Waombolezaji wote ambao mmepata nafasi ya kuja kuungana pamoja na, na familia hii tunataka kuwashukuru kwa njia ya kipekee. Mbarikiwe sana. As a, as, a, as I conclude kwa niaba ya secondary schools Mwalimu kuwa liongea, niliona mwalimu kuwa shule ya upili. Lakini pia nataka kumuomba ndugu yangu, member of the BOG. Uh, not as a neighbor now. Not as a neighbor. Because I know you can easily be tempted to talk as a neighbor. But I want to call upon you to come here and talk as a manager. One of them on behalf of uh, members of the BOGs who are here. This is one of our managers in one of our local schools. Uh, kwa mbalazaji wote familia ya Walter na kapcha wote na wenzenu kapcha wote watu wa Seum hasa kanisa la Seum kipkeke na watu wote ambao wamekuja hapa siku ya leo eh uh, mimi naitwa Ronald Kimuron. Ngawa dio ameniona nisiseme mimi ni jirani. Waja niseme kweli mimi ni jirani hapa. 
naishi hapa seumu na seumu la kipkeke ni ni moja mimi ningependa kwa niapa ya familia yangu kuleta rambi rambi kwa familia uh, Walter Kwambai ambaye pia yeye ni jamii yangu kwa maana mama yake ni jamii yangu nasema pole sana huko eh atukutarajia vitu kama hii na kila mara sikifanyika tunashangaa kwa nini imefanyika Biblia inatuonya tusi question ma kasi ya Mungu maana Mungu kasi yake yote haina makosa hata akichukua sisi hiyo si makosa kwa maana yeye ndiye alileta sisi kwa niapa ya district education board uh, na BOG eh, ingawa bana ndio nilikuwa nafikiri Mrs. Jabeta atanisaidia hapo akawakilisha mtoni mbili tu eh, nasema pole kwa family ya Walter na Nairobi na mzee Cheratum kutoka Kapkarwa tuko na rambi rambi kutoka kwa Joel Kipkorir Kemboy ni mwanafunzi wa Moi University wamekuwa na Mr. Kwambai wametumana rambi rambi zao tuko na rambi rambi kutoka kwa Inspector General David Kimayo ni mjomba ametumana rambi rambi zake kupitia kwa ndugu yetu Kiropu tukeni rambi rambi sa Inspector General David Kimayo Santeni sana wote wale wameongea tunashukuru sana. Tafadhali tunajua muda imeenda na tunaomba ya kwamba wale tutapeana nafasi tafadhali tumia muda kidogo na useme mengi. Tunaenda sasa kupeana nafasi kwa wale wa ndugu zetu wale pande wa siasa Bwana Sami Lomeri ama Yator karibu wakati si yetu. Basi kwa hivyo nataka tuniweze mwalika kiongozi ambaye ni mama ambaye amekuwa pamoja na sisi Ms. Yunis Karanja aweza kupeana pole zake sio wako wapi? Waombolezaji wote familia ya ndugu wetu bwana Kwambai pamoja na jamii na marafiki natoa rambi rambi zangu na pia rambi rambi za familia yetu ya bwana Karanja na majirani ambao tunaishi na wao kule upande wa Kipkeke Tabarini pokeeni rambi rambi zetu pia ningependa kusema ya kwamba ndugu yangu Walter jipe moyo kwa sababu huyu mama alikuwa rafiki wangu wa karibu nami ninasikia uzito mwingi katika moyo wangu hata kunena maana ni nimekuwa nikifikiria na nikitafakari jinsi tumekuwa tukiishi naye kama rafiki na pia kama familia na nikaona pia ni uzito lakini nataka nikuambie hivi jipe moyo wacha Mungu akutangulie Mungu akupe nguvu na pia akujalie kuvumilia kwa sababu faraja zinatoka kwa Mwenyezi Mungu kwa hivyo pole sana wako na kazi ngumu ya kule structures ili devolution it take place kwa hivyo tafadhali tuwape muda wafanye kazi wananchi tusipige kelele let us give them time wafanye kazi kwa sababu tunajua kitu kipya kina teething problems kwa hivyo tafadhali tuwape muda wafanye kazi yao pia watu wa huku napenda kuwashukuru kwa sababu mzigo huu tumeushikilia kwa pamoja ndugu Walter watu wanakupenda licha ya kuwa umepoteza madam lakini jua pia una marafiki nataka tuchukue jukumu la kuombea jamii hii 
jukumu la kuwaombea kila wakati mimi nataka tu kuwatakia kila laheri Christmas iko karibu wacha tusherekee kwa kuomba kura lakini si kufaulu lakini najua ni lukumba lukumba ilifanyika lakini nashukuru Mungu kwa sababu ninajua wakati huu wenye wako wanatengeneza mali pazuri wakati huo mwingine sisi tutaingia kwa hivyo pia ninawashukuru jinsi mlisimama nami kwa maombi na pia kunipigia kura na sasa wakati ujao tafadhali tutashirikiana ili muniingishe huko nifanye kazi wakati huu pia msiogope mimi niko nitaendelea kuwafanyia kazi jinsi nilikuwa nikiwafanyia licha ya kuwa nilitaka niwafanyie in a big way nikiwa mwakilishi wa kina mama lakini bado naweza kuwafanyia kazi in a small way jinsi bado niko pale nyumbani kwa hivyo tuendelee kushirikiana tufanye kazi pamoja tuendeleshe eneo letu kwa umoja na Mungu awabariki ambaye yako pamoja na sisi mheshimiwa mbunge wa Cherangani bwana Joshua Kutuny ametuma rambi rambi zake pokeni tuna rambi rambi kutoka kwa mbunge John Marimoi ametuma na rambi rambi zake kupitia kwa ndugu yetu Dennis Ndiwa Asante MCA kwa mwalimu kwa mbai familia jumla ya Capcare familia ya bwana San Sande watu wa kanisa la Seum kijiji cha Seum na nyinyi nyote natoa rabirabi zangu mwenyewe familia yangu na ya Capteso kwa jumla kwa yale aliyotupata madam tulikuwa pamoja kanisani alikuwa mwalimu kwa shule niliyosomea na ni watu wa karibu sana kwa hivyo ni kusema pole sana kwa yale aliyopata na ilitupata sisi sote kwa pamoja ah uh, maybe pia kwa niaba ya wanafunzi wote waliofunzwa na madam nimeona walimu waliofanya kazi na yeye wamesimama wanaofanya kazi na world wanasimama uh, wanafunzi waliofunzwa na marehemu pia wasimame waseme pole kwa pamoja na mimi wanafunzi wote uliofunzwa walikuwa wa seum alright asante sana na ni hao ndio walinifahamisha kwamba madam ametuacha kwa sababu kuna facebook ya watu wa seum so mtu alitupa neno akasema kwamba pole sana uh, seum kumpoteza madam sasa tulikuwa najiuliza ni madam yupi kukakuwa na ile communication mwingine akatupa jina Jen kidogo kidogo mwingine akasema pole mwalimu kwa mbaye sasa nikaunganisha nikajua kumbe ni Jen kwa mbaye ndio ametuacha pole sana niseme la pili na la mwisho kwa sababu watu wote ambao wanahusika wako hapa ikiwa ni walimu wanaohusika na maisha ya binadamu kwa kuwa funza wachungaji ambao wanawaelimisha pia katika kiroho na wazazi ambao wanawazaa na vile vile kuwaelimisha katika maisha niwaambia kwamba tafadhali tafadhali tukue makini kwa kuotufuka kuwafunza wanafunzi na watoto wetu kwa sababu chins na wafunza ndivyo watakavyokuwa mimi niko kule ngambo na wenzangu rais na makamu wake kwa sababu ya watoto wanafunzi waliopitia mikono ya walimu walipitia mikono ya pasta walipitia mikono ya wachunga wa, wa wazazi na walikubali pesa waseme uongo na wamepitia kwa mikono yenu so najiuliza wakati mwingine what do you really teach them mnawafunza nini kama ni wazazi mnawafunza nini watoto wenu kama ni mchungaji mnawafunza nini katika kanisa kama ni walimu shuleni mnawafunza nini kwa sababu mtoto wa mtu kushika pesa na kuenda ngambo kujificha kama witness mshuhuda wa uongo kusema arab sang na wengine walichinja umbwa ya, ya kafara kitu hata mimi mwenyewe kushika hata umbo ni ngumu sana lakini lichinja na kukunywa damu kwa kulingana na hawa mashahidi so i would just want to urge you please be very keen in producing these human beings kunyampitia kwa mikono yetu mimi ni mmoja wao na mimi nasema nilipitia kwa walimu kwa wachungaji na kwa wazazi na hiyo hiyo 
mimi si kwenda kinyume ya mafunzo yao yoyote ile ndipo nimesimama lakini wengine ambao sijua alifunzo wa kivipi wame ni enua nienda ngambo lakini mimi niko tu kwa siara ya kutembea nitarudi hivi karibuni na mambo yataisha Mheshimiwa Shadrack kwa hiyo story ya fupi na pia mapunzo Pas mimi langu tu ndio nimalisie ili niweze kumwalika bwana mashindano acha aseme pamoja na sisi na baadaye amwalike our deputy governor ambaye yuko pamoja na sisi hapa ndaka tuniseme kwamba kuna wakati walimu walikuwa nasema kwamba uweze kuwa na ile fikira ya kusema kwamba tunaweza na leo hii nataka tuniseme kwamba walimu wameweza leo hii kama ingekuwa ni siku ambaye madarasa inaendelea ama shule inaendelea labda tungesema ingekuwa ni old day kwa walimu wote asua cherangai division na pia ku extend baga mara kwetu so nataka tuniseme eko kwa walimu kwa ile umoja ambaye mko naye muendelee hivyo hivyo na Mungu atawasidishia na atawapa baraka. Na ambaye ninachoa kwamba umeshirikiana pamoja na walimu wenzako ndipo sasa unaona kwamba wamekucha kwa hichi nzi ambayo wamekuja. So nataka tuniseme pole kwa kila moja. Na kwa hivyo muda tuwezi kuturusu nataka tunikualike bwana mashindano uweze kukaribia hapa uweze kusema pamoja na sisi na nataka tunikushukuru kabisa kwa kuweza kuja na kufariki sisi katika sehemu hii karibu bwana mashindano mwalimu bwana kwambai watoto wako ambao wamebaki nyuma um, deputy governor mheshimiwa uh, ya tol viongozi wengine na huu mkutano ni mkutano wa walimu i think uh, madam uh, jane the late ametuunganisha pamoja na nimekuja matanga hii as a neighbor na pia resident wa hii county with all due respect tunataka kusema pole kwa kumpoteza madam ambaye alikuwa katikati ya maisha yake she reminds me of about 45 years ago when i lost my mom and i was 2 years old lakini kitu moja ambayo ninajua and i want to speak to the children of mwalimu kwambai there is hope for you You know if I can make it at two years then you can do even better. And more so when you have such a dear father very lovely Christian and very protective. Najua kwamba you will make it. Ah uh, sisi tunaheshimu walimu kama kaunti. You are the only movement as uh, mheshimiwa Yator says when you say no it means no. And I think in the entire Kenya you are the only movement when you plan for a strike it will succeed. Ah uh, madaktari waweze. <laughs> Doctors cannot make it. <laughs> I think county governments will waletea kizungumkuti. You know when Kisumu says yes and Mombasa says no, of course you cannot succeed. But again, I have always stood with teachers because once I was a teacher at least and you always mean well for us na tunaweza kuona katika matanga haya you know you come together and you speak with one voice and i think uh, vile mheshimiwa deputy governor atawaambia we have great plans for the teachers in this county na hayo sitaki kusema sana mimi nataka tu kusema pole mimi ni kijana ya arabi saya marehemu hapa chini So when my brother Mwalimu Kwambai family ya Kwambai uh, the children of the late uh, madam and uh, watu wa Kipkege all teachers uh, officials of NAT and uh, the teachers sako and uh, uh, mabibi na mbwana hamjamboni so nafikiri yangu ni machache mimi nimekuja hata kama jirani sijekuja kama deputy governor 
Mimi ni jirani hapa Kachibora tumekana kwa mbaye hapa we've shared a lot of things in common Na nakumbuka when I had my homecoming hapa Kachibora at the Nogam Primary School nilikuja mpaka najaribu kupigia kwa mbaye simu simu uh, achukui mpaka nikashanga was I given the wrong number so I decided one morning to drive very early kwa compound ya kwa mbaye nikakuta madam nikaulize what's happening i'm calling mwalimu akanemea no he has gone for classes holiday classes he's in class so that's why i wanted us permission to to me noigam primary school kama venue ya homecoming and she told me she immediately leaves class i'll pass your message and immediately after one hour mwalimu had called me na akanipea okay kutumia kiwanja ya noigam primary so i met madam here she was a very humble lady na niliona bidi zake because it was the first time we were meeting in fact she did not know me but vile niliambia tu ambia fulani amekuja ndiye akashangaa akaniambia eh karibu nikaambia hapana salimia mwalimu mimi ni rafiki yake na ni jirani so kwa hii tunasema pole kwa niaba ya county government on behalf of our governor PS Kaemba in Masindano works in his office Masindano is the chief of staff at the governor's office so the governor was supposed to come but he told me and Masindano to akilisha hapa because i told him uh, Kwambai is our good neighbor and even 207 when we had the IDP case most of the ile mziko Kwambai alikuwa naye kwa shule was enormous lakini tulifurahi vile ali handle na alikubali wale IDPs wakae kwa shule so uh, governor Kaemba amenituma na rambi rambi zake unafikiri utapokea bwana Kambai pia governor Juzi hakuweza kufika wakati mlikuwa na mchango pia amenituma na mchango yake kwa family i think i'll give you after this on behalf of the governor and the county government. Uh, just a brief, nafikiri uh, madam, uh, Mrs. Karanja amesema about the county government, county government. Some people are already saying, oh, we are not seeing this, we are not seeing this. Uh, the way you shall say, devolution has its problems. Uh, you've seen even the doctors, they are not even sure whether they'll be paid. So although nowadays all the money are doctors in Akuja county government, and we reimburse back to the national government to pay the doctors. So since devolution ends in March, we've been reimbursing all the money at doctors in Arudi, now at the same rates with all the allowances. So we don't know Juzi too, we want to be like teachers. We also want a doctor's service commission. Then somebody told them, when you guys were enacting the constitution, all the doctors were endorsed here, Katiba, Vila Ilikuwa. So what you did you not read even the section to do with doctors? Because if devolution has been, the devolved functions were already gazetted. The way Vile Mwalimu amesema, some things here you must do maybe through a referendum. So that we can even get maybe a doctor's service commission. So we're just praying the, with the doctors, nafikiri ni mzuri wa mekubali kurudi kazi. Because we had said at the county, we are not going to reduce anybody's salary. We have if at all anything, tutaongeza. Na kwa budget ya county, nafikiri the biggest ministry, nyelipata pesa mingi, 800 million, is Ministry of Health. Because we are planning to buy four ambulances, we want to upgrade the mortuary, we want to build an accident, an emergency unit, we want to buy an MRI, we want to buy a CT scan. Transoya, there is no CT scan in the whole of Transoya. There is no MRI. I think the only place is Eldoret. But we want to make sure we have those facilities before, before next year. Because out of four billion, less than one billion is made. So you can imagine, that's why I'm only kazi inatendeka. If somebody, I promise you four shillings, and I only give you one shilling. Surely you cannot start gauging me and say you have done nothing with one shilling. And you still have my three shillings. So we're just praying, hopefully next year, your pesa ingine ikuja, the three billion ikikuja, I'm sure you'll see. For now, I think, tumeanza kazi greda saiko chepsiro. Nafikiri inamaliza chepsiro, I think, next week. Itakuwa, itakuja motosietu ward, then itakuja kwa hii ward. The grader is already on the way to Natal, to Manzia, Mabarabara. Already we have procured four ambulances. I think hopefully next year, five. One for every county. Here we have the Youth and the Women Fund. Nafkiri, MCA, Mawambia. We have identified the groups next year. In January, we are rolling out to Napea Youth and Women Fund. We've set aside already 50 million, yeah, Youth and Women, and we'll upgrade it until 100 million before the end of the year. Pia kuna Basari, Ambaya Kogo. Kijana wenyu wa nyumbani hapa, Minister of Education, anasimamia. anasimamia. And we have given him 50 million for bursary fund. Hopefully in January, MCS wakitupitizia hiyo bill ya bursary na youth and women fund. will start giving out money to the youth and women. Finally, I think uh, also we have ECD teachers. 
Nafikiri from January, the county government is employing ECD teachers because under education, we were only given ECD and polytechnics. Manene awalimu yote nafikiri mwaliko wa erevu sana, vyuti yote ilibaki Nairobi. Although tumambia wata kujenga madarasa, mutu wachie. Salary can remain in Nairobi, but even infrastructure, we are begging what to achieve infrastructure so that when a, a classroom, uh, pie, uh, a classroom ikichukuliwa, governor tuwa sikea hapa asema, no, that is not a devolved function. So we are praying even infrastructure to pay, but salaries, nafikiri itendelea kuandaliwa Nairobi plus the transfers and promotions. Fanya interview, I think January, God willing, county assembly itafanya vetting. Now we are still going to employ uh, some of our graduates ambaye walifanya vizuri, we still have some positions coming up in the county. Even January, we'll advertise more positions. Uh, na ukiona inakufa, una apply, then we see how we can assist you. Kwa haya machache, mungu wa mungu. Tunashukuru sana kufika kwako. Kazi ile umetusaidia. Tunajua wengu wa metoka. Tuko na wafanyi biashara kutoka kajibora. Tuko na wala wanafanya mechanic, wamefika. Uote wangependa kusema kwa niaba yao. Lakini kwa sababu ya nafasi, waja tupatia familia kwa sababu tulikuwa na wapatia pole sasa naye waseme bwana Richard Krop tafadhali kuja uongoze familia na uangalie saa ngao hata tumechukua saa mrefu lakini familia najua wana mambo mengi tumechukua nafasi hii kuwatolea shukrani nyi nyote ambao wamekuja kutufariji ah uh, tangu tulipopoteza mbendo wetu madam tumepata joto na support kubwa sana kutoka kwa wakazi wote wa eneo hii pamoja na jamii zetu ambao wako mbali na hasa kutoka kwa familia ya walimu the family of teachers we are very grateful na imeharifiwa kwamba muda umeenda sana na kanisa wanataka waanze sehemu yao so nitachukua muda mfupi sana kukaribisha wachaje tu waseme we come from a family of teachers our parents were teachers so we are very much disciplined when it comes to time management. So nitachukua na fasi hii protocol ya, ya familia ni tofauti kidogo. Tutanzia seniors tukienda kwa majuniors. Nitaalika mze, akuja aseme machache, kisha nitaelekesa katika sehemu hili nyingine. Sante sana kwa na regard. Sante sana kwa na fasi hii mzuri. Nasema wale wa mbalasa haji wote ambayo mekuja hapa kutusaitia au tuambia sisi pole Nasema sande. Sande sana. Walimu, kila mucha mwa amekuja hapa, ni mbole saje. Kituwezi kutuwa kama we mtu mkubwa, kiasikani. Lakini sote tumekuja kusema pole. Sisi njoka hapa kiri, mimi njoka hapa ya kikana hui walda. Na tunasema sande kwa nisata yote mwa amekuja. Kwa ufubi tupa kiaga nataka kusema machache kusu mtoto yetu hii chen na walda hiyo ni kidogo tu nimesikia sifa mingi kwa nyinyi ambaye mmetoka nje walimu na wengine wote ah na nimesikia tu can you teach it yani can you teach tema nimesema kwamba mchanganye changanye na sisi tumechanganya wakati mmoja kitana wangu yeye alikuwa mwalimu tu alikuwa kabla hajaoa alikatembea tembea huko akakuta msichana au a lady eh akakuta lady akamwambia mimi baba nimepata msichana huko au lady msuri huko hebu kujaona wakati niliona kwa kama hii picha iko hapa ilikuwa na kuona nikamwambia ah that's very good nikamwambia ah hiyo na hiyo na tosha na tosha the boss took a propose na kao akaendelea na kuo na akaleta nyumbani hapa so to the price sana kwa hiyo maneno yake kuchakuwa yeye siku za kumbia mama huyu mama watoto ni price sana yeye wakati karibu mbili tatu nilikaa na yeye alikuja hapo mama yetu ya kapkiri hakuleta kiburi yote hatukuwa na kesi yote wakati wote tulishukuru sana najua wengine kutoka nje na wanaweza kuleta difference sana lakini yeye hakuleta difference yote 
Sasa hatukuwa na kesi yote. Tangu wakati hile alikuja nyumbani hapa. Alikupali kualeka na watu hitu ya marakweti. Awa kapkesi. So tunikaa na ye mizuri. So kwa ububi. Nikakuta ye kwa marambili. Nikaonge ye pasalali. Watu wakati mbili. Nilikuwa na ye wakati ngini. Nikaonge na ye. Nikaona ye kweli ini ya mtu wa maana. Nikaona akili ya chuu. Understanding yake nilikuwa chuu sana. Niliweka makasi ye mzuri. Ya pili. Nilikuonge ya pili. Kaniambia education yake ya likuwa sabi. Kume tumepatika. Tumepatika kukubata mwalimu mzuri kama hii. Sasa, sasa mnajua kuamba wale watoto umepatia sisi, utakuwa wende. Sina mnajua? Watakuwa wazuri zote. Asafu tuna watoto wakia university. Na watakuwa watu wa mana kwa wakatu mungine. Kule, kwa niyama ya kapkiri yote. Tuko na kapkiri wengi hapa. Nona kiketi hii, ni kapkiri wote jamii, pamoja na wale watu walipatia sisi mtoto. Sasa tunasema, pole ni sana, pole sana mse walda. Ya sasa hii mekua mse si vijana sana, hamekupata mchuku moja. Eh, sasa mepita hapo, hamepita mkijana, sasa hamekua mse. Sasa tunasema sana, pole sana mse kijana kwa mpoteza mama. Badu likuwa badu tunaitachi huyu mama. Likuwa badu na mkubu sana. Na badu likuwa na mamu mengi. Sasa unuona po mayake likuwa sabi. Sasa unasema pole ni sana kwa huyu mama bote. Mungu mwenye wa leona ni mzuri. Lakini vijana tunatakia nyinyi muendele kusoma. Muka na baba, tuka na kuka haba, na jami yote hiko haba. Ya mwisho... Minataka kutambua wachomba wake wa Walda haba. Tuna wachomba wake ambaye sasa likuwa kuko mpando wa masinu. Kwa intermedia. Sanda wakitrena. Bwana sifiwe. Bwana sifiwe. Toko chiptonge hii. Mali mama ya wachomo wangu alitoka Mbae na hito patienzi, patienzi yonga Mama Ya huye ni dati yangu, mina mfote Kwa ya pili Ningependa kutora mramzangu Mimpi nafsi Na ya familia yangu Na watu wa jirani yangu uko kuture chiptongi Wali nituma, nitoe rambi rambi zao. Tuliposikia msiba huu, toka janda, kuna mama mengine kama hii, sehemu huko nyombani, na tulikika wanya, nikaja na Dr. Reverend Chilimo, huya likuwa na sumama ndugu yangu, hebu sumama, asande, tukaja, kushirikiana kwa msiba huu kwa fariji wa jomba na wazazi wote na watu wa kapker kwa msiba huu mungu ni mkubwa na nakika yana mba imesemwa na 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 pasta jana nilisikia jana Alisema anga tuchiandae, tuchiandae giro, kwa sababu kifo inaingia kama mwizi. Na kama tungejua suku ile mwizi wanakuja, hata jina lenyewe la mwizi ingepote. Tungewashika wote na jina la mwizi, mwizi ingeangamia na kifo inakuja hivyo. Kwa hivyo, hiyo ni mbangu ya mungu. Na atuwezi kushinani na mungu. Atuna shortcut. Hakuna shortcut. Hata kama hiki tokea na mnagani. Kila moja ataenda. 
Kwa hivyo mimi ningesema ya mwisho tuchiandae kiroho. Mimi si padri, mimi si pasta, lakini naelewa kwamba usipojiandaa ujui siku yako. Na kwa hayo majache eh, nasema Mungu awabariki wa jambo wangu na wazazi wao na Mungu awe nanyi daima. Kanisa la Pentecostal Assemblies of God katika mara kwetu na baadaye Mungu kaniongoza nikaenda kufundisha katika chuo cha Biblia Pentecostal Bible College. Kwa hivyo nasema pole kwa Walter ambaye ni mjomba wangu na familia yote na watakia eh, heri njema. Kuna neno katika ufunuo 22 kifungu cha 12 nasema Yesu anasema naja upesi nikileta wajira ya eh, wangu kwa kila moja na nataka tu tukumbushane ya kwa Yesu anarudi na kurudi kwake Yesu hakuna mtu anajua lazima ujitarishe hakuna njia ingine ambayo tunaweza kufikia Mungu isipokuwa kupitia imani katika Yesu Kristo na kushampokea Yesu Kristo una haki ya kuwa umekuwa mwana wa Mungu kwa neema kupitia imani katika Yesu Kristo na Yesu alikufa kwa kila moja wetu na Mungu anatupenda ajue ya kwa siku zimekaribia Yesu anakuita leo kama hujaokoka umkubali Yesu leo kata kauli na Yesu atakuokoa na Mungu awabariki sana ambao tumekuwa naye kwa muda wote na nao tatsandia amefika nitamba kipaza sauti ili aseme mimi nitamalisi yangu uh, naitwa Solomon Sande nikiwa baba mdogo wa Jen. Um, sisi ni waluya kutoka Vihiga. Um, Jen ni maragoli. Uh, uko wake ni abakizungu. It is very important that tujue jambo hilo. Ingawaje tumempoteza lakini nashukuru Mungu kwa sababu naona watoto sura yake wako hapa vijana na wasichana i'm very proud uh, nimekuja hapa na dada zangu nimekuja hapa na marafiki zetu hata nina wajomba wa jen Sijui kama mtawaruhusu ama niongee kwa niaba yao. Basi tutasimama tu pale tulipo. Mtasimama eh, ndugu za Jen pamoja na dada zake. Mnaweza kuja huku. Hoji mfalme. Nafikiri tuna wengine wakuje kidogo. Kuja afande. Alafu akafuatwa na huyu ndipo akafuata mimi. Kwa hivyo nitampa dada yangu ambaye ni mkubwa wangu atashuhudia kidogo. Asante mno. Bore kuli mivetu. Anaongea kwa lugha ya Kiswahili. Yeah. Kwa maana usiangaje anaenda siku ya leo si hivyo? Nataka kumsalimu kwa kiruga. Mirembe wosi. Mirembe. Mirembe kani. Mirembe. Mirembe jashangazi. Mirembe. Nakaboye, nashukuru Mwenyezi Mungu ambaye alipanga siku ya leo. Sisi kwa kuachana na shangazi yangu na ata, anaenda kupumzika. Sitaenda si kwa mambo mengi. Lakini nina furaha rooni mwangu. Kwa maana mmesema maneno ambayo imefanya roho yangu ikiwa na furaha kwa shangazi yangu. Kila mtu alisema shangazi alikuwa kama nyota. Namwambia senge wangu Walter. Wanasemanga mtu akipata mke mwema 
amepata kitu kizuri. Ulipata kitu kizuri kutoka huko Vishiga. Anachapa kizungu, anachapa hesabu, anachapa mambo ya kujenga. Ndio huyu anaenda. Tunasema aende salama. Ya misho, namwambia shangazi yangu ota. Mlikuwa na shangazi kwa mwendo mmoja. Mwingine naenda huko. Ameshika njia ngine ambao hatarudia kwa njia hiyo. Mlikuwa na mnabeba naye mizigo, amekuachia hiyo mizigo. Usiwache hiyo mizigo kwa njia. Ukae najo vizuri vile mmekaa na yeye, nusomeshe watoto wapate elimu kama ya ile ya shangazi yanga alipata. Sante kwa wote ambao wamekuja kushuhudia vile shangazi wangu anaenda kupumzika. Walimu nasema asante. Wenye kiti nasema asante. Wa ukoo wetu wa hapa na huko nasema ni asante. Asante ndugu yangu kunipea nafasi na kusema mrembe kwa mkutano wa leo. Na Mungu mbariki wote. Kwa majina naitwa Agnes Afandi, shangazi wa Jane, akiwa nyota nzuri kwa upande huu. Asante. Asifiwe tena. Salamu za msichana wangu. Bwana asifiwe. Kwa majina naitwa Mary Adori, mzee wangu akiwa nyuma ya baba ya Jane. Nikiwa mama Jane mdogo, Bwana mbariki. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe tena. Aliye lala ni msichana yangu, mimi ni dada ya mama yake. Na nafurahi kwa kuja kutusaidia. Na furaha hata ile huzuni nilikuwa nayo imeisha. Kwa majina anaitwa Esther Mwonje. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Asifiwe tena. Mimi kwa majina naitwa Judith dada yake je. Mwombolezaji wote na wasalimu katika jina lesu. Bwana asifiwe. Asifiwe tena. Mimi nashukuru Mungu kwa siku ya leo ameniongoza amekuwa kimbilio ndani ya maisha yangu. Nitaongea tu kwa ufupi kuhusu dada yangu ambaye ni madam ambaye amelala. Madam huyu tumekuwa na ye, tukishirikiana kwa njia yote akiwa akinisaidia hapa na pale. Hata kuna siku moja nilikuwa nimeenda upande wa Western huko nikakwama kidogo, nilikuwa nimeenda kwa shughuli nikaanza kumpigia simu akaweza kaniambia ndio kutumia pesa lakini kesho yake wakati nilimpigia simu akaweza kanitumia pesa kwa hivyo jinsi amekuwa mgonjwa tumekuwa tukisaidiana pamoja na shemeji wangu katika ugonjwa na nimekuwa nikikuja katika mjuu mara kwa mara kwa hivyo kitu nyenye nitamwambia tu shemeji wangu na wajomba wangu ambao wamebaki tujipe moyo tuvumilie kwa yote maana kila jambo ina mwanzo na mwisho kwa hivyo ninaomba tu shemeji wangu ushirikiano jinsi dada yangu alikuwa tuweze kushirikiana pamoja na wajomba wangu. Kwa majina naitwa Nixon Kisia Mudanya ni hatu mbarikiwe. Hapo wote. Eh kwa kwa jina langu mimi naitwa Hudson Mudanya. Mimi nilikuwa dada ya Jane. Sorry ndugu ya Jane. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Majina ni Evelyn Nongai. Nikiwa dada ya Jane kwa jamii yote pamoja na the teaching fraternity ningependa kuambia Jesus is a rock in a weary land and is the only shelter in the time of storms shemeji yangu jipe moyo Mungu akawabariki Asante napenda kuwasalimu wote katika jina la Yesu wa mjambo hamjambo tena mimi naitwa Edward Ongai E, Jen, Madam Jen alikuwa e, kazi ni yangu na kwa walimu wote marafiki pamoja na kanisa e, mimi kwa ujumla nasema kwamba pole please take heart e, for we share the loss na kwa shemeji yetu mwalimu kwambai e, jambo langu ni moja tu kwamba wewe sasa ni kio kila atakapokuwa tukitazama wewe na familia tutakuwa tunakumbuka dada yetu Mungu akubariki wote Bwana asifiwe Bwana asifiwe kwa majina yangu naitwa Edith. Mimi ndio nilikuwa nikikaa na madam sana tangu aanze kuugua mpaka ameenda hivi. Bwana wabariki. Haleluya. Haleluya. Nitawasalimia kwa kiluja mrembo boss. 
Mrembe boss. Huyu amelala ni mjomba yangu. Mimi ndio nilikuwa yaya. Kwa majina James Mmanyi. Asante. Bwana asifiwe. Asifiwe tena. Kwa majina mimi naitwa Valina Adega. Sina mengi ya kusema. Niko na uchungu sana. Thank you. Ah, uh, huyu ndiye mto, mtoto wa marehemu ndugu yangu mkubwa ataongea kidogo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Asifiwe tena. Alia labda alala huyu ni dada yangu ula ananifuata kwa mgongo mimi ndio mkubwa. Lakini hiyo ni mpango ya Mungu. Siku zake zilikuwa zimefika lakini yote yametendeka. Kwa hivyo Walter na watoto wake hawa tuko pamoja. Tutashirikiana msiwa na wasiwasi kwa sababu leo tena mwana Mungu yuko. Ni hayo tu mbarikiwe. Glory be to his name. Glory be to his name. You man change but Jesus never. Glory be to his name. Uh, Mungu ni mwema ametufikisha hapa. Lakini tumbe kijana yangu Mungu awe ndio kinga yao. Na ikiwa jena alikuwa wembe wakati ule hata hawa watoto watakuwa wembe zaidi ya je. Na sisi maombi yetu ni kwamba tu vile nilikuwa mtoto wangu anakuwa zaidi ya mimi bwana asifiwe thank you so tumemaliza naona hata pastor amesimama nitaalika mwaglisho wa university ambao eh, wanake maremu walikuwa wanasoma aje aseme machache huyu ndio mjukuu huyu ndio mjukuu ndio unaona tumepromote Walter Fiwe cha somaongea na mimi pia ni mwalimu kwa majina naitwa Isaac Rob mimi ni mwadhiri katika chuo kikuu cha Moi unajua kwamba tuko hapa siku ya leo Walter ni mwanafunzi katika chuo hicho na wanawe wawili ni wanafunzi pia katika chuo hicho nataka tu kuchukua fursa fursa mfupi sana kusema pole kwa yale yaliyotokea kwa niaba yangu kwa niaba ya jamii na pia kwa niaba ya chuo kikuu cha Moi. Huyu aliyelala siku ya leo alikuwa msazi katika chuo hicho na mume wa mmoja wao. Ukiona Walter Villa yako, wanasema kwa Kiingereza bind a successful man there must be a woman, okay? Bind a successful man there must Mbeleni tulikuwa tunasema behind lakini kwa sasa tunasema besides, okay? Besides a successful man there is a woman, okay, and actually Jane was really behind the success of this family. I want us to tell them that we are very sorry for what has happened. To the pokea kifoiki kwa mshanga mkubwa. Wakati alikuja hospital in Eldoret, wakati alirilisiwa, waka akasema anapewa appointment kwa wiki moja. Na tulikuwa na fikiria sasa anendelea kuja kupona. Kido kidogo tukapata ujumbe, tu wakasema ametuaja, tuka usunika. Na nataka tu kuambia jamii mkasane. Langu kwa sababu nataka tu niwahimise jamii ni nihimise ndugu yangu Walter ahakikishe wale watoto wengine wapate elimu huyu madam i can say she had a passion for education every time tukikutana naye alikuwa anaongea mambo ya elimu i want to tell the other children Linda Jenrick and Evans you have no choice but to make in education chuo kikuu cha Moi na wangojea na vyo vingine ambavyo viko hapa ama tenchi za nchi ya mwisho nataka kupeana risala za rambirambi kutoka Vice Chancellor wa Chuo Kikuu Prof. Mibei ametuma kwa niaba ya hawa watatu walikuwa wanafunzi pia kuna Profesa Barasa ye ni Dean School of Business ambaye Walter alikuwa mwanafunzi kuna Profesa Lugulu Dean School of Law ambaye Betty alikuwa mwanafunzi na wa mwisho Profesa Mary Kipsat ambaye Lucy alikuwa mwanafunzi katika chuo hicho wote wamesema pole wangekuwa na sisi hapa lakini walikuwa na shughuli zingine singetaka kuchukua muda mfupi nasema pole na Mungu atubariki
So, kama Lucy anakuja kutusome eology. When she sat for her CPE exam, she let she got a join Loreto Matula Separate School where she studied up to 1980. When she sat for her level exam, she let her join Isham Mumbia Secondary School in 1981 for her A level and he did the exams in 1982. In 1983, the let then employed as a trained teacher at St. Christopher's Primary School and Piribiril Primary School. Later in 1985, she joined Migori Teachers Training College, where she graduated as a P1 teacher in 1987. Professional career life. The late Madam Jane started a professional career as a teacher in 1987, where she was posted to work in primary school and also taught as a BOG teacher at Kwame Primary School at the same period for three years. She, let her she was later transferred to Sewa Primary School in 1990, where she served as a teacher. As a result of her good work, she was promoted as a senior teacher at Sewa Primary School. Family life. The late Jen got married to drama from Kwame Walter. In the year 25, in her years of 25 years of marriage, they were blessed with five children, namely Lucy Tsekori, Betty Chepto, Jemri Kibet, Evans Kitumba, and Linda Chelanga. She was also blessed with one grandchild, he called Chetumba, a Christian life. The late madam was led to a very was a very active Christian as a member of Seum AIC Church. She also served as a welfare treasurer. Tunajua ya kwamba faraja itokaye juu mbinguni inatosha katika maisha yetu. Waonyeshe upendo wakati unapohitaji. Wasaidie wakati wa baridi. Wape choto siku zote bwana wa mbinguni. Uwe karibu na wao wakati wote. Najua ya kwamba baada ya hii watahachu hapa nyumbani na kila mmoja atarudi nyumbani kwake lakini wewe Mungu uliye mbinguni utakuwa pamoja na wao siku sote utawashauri kwa yale yote watakaohitaji katika maisha yao Mungu wa mbinguni wewe uwe pamoja na wao kuna watoto ambao wako shuleni ambao pengine wamekuwa wakitegemea mama yao kwa mashauri wewe Bwana uwe mshauri mkuu kwao ili waweze kuishi katika maisha ambayo inakupendeza. Tunamweka Walter mkononi mwako. Umbatie moyo wa ushujaa. Akutegemee wewe na aweze kulea watoto wake katika njia ya Bwana. Atembee pamoja nawe siku zote na asijione ya kwamba hako pekee yake. Lakini ajue ya kwamba Mungu wewe uko pamoja naye. Saidia familia hii Bwana waendelee kukutumainia wewe. Tunajua ya kwamba siku setu katika dunia hii ni chache. Na kwa hizi siku chache Mungu utusaidie eh, kukutasama wewe na kukuishia wewe. Naombea jamii yote ya kwamba Bwana utaendelea kuwafariji, utaendelea kuatia nguvu na utawapangusia machosi yao. Wapatie moyo wa furaha wa mbele yako pasipo wewe kujua na pasipo wewe kuwa na sababu mzuri. Tunajua ya kwamba hii ni wakati wako na ni wakati mzuri. Kwa hivyo jina lako likapate kuinuliwa. Uinuliwe sasa Bwana siku zote katika maisha ya familia hii. Na sisi zote ambao tumekuja mahali hapo Mungu wa mbinguni tupate kukutukuza wewe. Wacha Yesu Kristo aliye Bwana na mokosi wetu. Amen. Kwa majina anaitwa mchungaji B. Natoka sehemu za Mwezi ni nyumbani kwetu na nyumbani kwangu pia. Na hudumu sehemu ya Moiben kanisa cha Lelaibe na Chepkoyo. Nataka niaherisha mazishi ya leo kwa maombi kisha kazi itakayofuatia itafuata. 
Ninasema asante Mwenyezi Mungu wakati wa jioni ya leo. Wewe ni Mungu mwaminifu, wewe ni Mungu usiyolinganishwa na miungu zingine. Jina lako baba ni kuu. Ndiposa Bwana siku ya leo tuko mahala hapa. Jina lako libarikiwe Mungu kwa sababu umetukirimia neema, nafasi na hata kipao cha uhai. Ndiposa Mungu tumeza kutanika mahala hapa siku ya leo kwa kuwaga dada wetu Jane. Mungu najua mioyo zote ziliko mahala hapa siku ya leo. Najua Bwana kila mmoja wetu. Maana maandiko yamesema wewe ni Mungu chunguzae sirini na Mungu unafahamu mambo yote yaliyo katika siri. Penda Bwana kuombea kila mmoja wetu Mwenyezi Mungu jioni ya leo ili Bwana atakapokuwa tukifumkana jioni hii Mwenyezi ukapata kwa ndani pamoja na kila mmoja wetu safari nzuri tunawatajia baba yetu wenzetu watakao safiri kwenda sehemu mbalimbali Baba wa mbinguni tunasema ya kwamba jioni ya leo kwa mkutano huu Jehova jitu walio tukufu maana ni Mungu mwaminifu kwa Kristo Yesu tuomba na kuamini Amen tutaanza msafara ya kwenda kukamilisha kazi ambayo tumeikujia jioni ya leo karibu Uh, with all protocol observed mimi nasimama hapa jioni ya leo kutoa shukrani zetu uh, fa, uh, kwa niaba ya familia ya Walter kwa niaba ya familia ya Karab Cheluo kwa niaba ya uko wa Kapker na pia kwa niaba ya familia ya uh, uh, Sande upande ule wa mashemeji uh, zetu nataka kutoa kutoa shukrani zetu kwa kikundi na watu wafuatao um, uh, watu ambao ama kikundi uh, ambao wamekuja kutufariji siku ya leo uh, na shukuru sana Um, watu kutoka um, administration sekta zote za administration education minister at is minister of education na sekta uh, zote za hiyo ministry na shukuri pia jioni ya leo uh, wale wote ambao wameweza kutoka mbali wamewacha kazi zao na kuja kuombaleza na sisi na kusindikiza huyu dada yetu. Nashukuru pia uh, wachungaji wote, makanisa wote wenye wamekuja hapa. Na nashukuru uh, kanisa ya Seu. Nashukuru majirani na kila mtu ambaye amekuja hapa iwe mtoto iwe mtu mzima tuasema asante sana kwa sababu kilio chetu kimekuwa nyepesi kwa vile mumekuja kulia na sisi mumekuja kutushika mkono na kwa hivyo tuasikia kwamba atuko uh, peke yetu tuko na watu wanatupenda tuashukuru nyinyi wote asante kwa kiimba unanyanyuka polepole pole, unatoa matoleo yako kuna kikapu hapo mbele yako kwa upole alafu tukisha maliza tutaanza msafara karibu
Mina Mela Beta. Alafu mtupatie nafasi hapa barabara. Wacha nikia wacha nikia tafadhali. Ina mele meta Yerusalemu ya Bwana Ina mele meta Ina mele meta Yerusalemu ya Bwana Ina mele meta Ina mele meta Yerusalemu ya Bwana Ina mele meta Ina mele meta Yerusalemu ya Bwana Ina mele meta sana kwa wimbo huo mzuri ni kweli kwamba tukisha maliza kazi uh, kazi yetu itakuwa imeisha basi nataka ni tome kifungu hiki ndio <coughs> mkausunika kama na wengine wasio na matumaini maana ikiwa wa, uh, uh, ikiwa tuamini ya kwamba Yesu alikufa akafufuka 
Vivyo hivyo na hawa walio lala katika Yesu Mungu atawalete pamoja naye. Wakuwa tuwaambieni haya na neno la Bwana. Kwamba sisi tulio hai tutakao salia hata wakati wa kuja kwake Bwana hakika hatuta watangulia wao waliokwisha kulala mauti kwa, ma, kwa sababu wana mwenyewe atashuka na parapanda ya Mungu nao waliokufa katika Kristo watafufuliwa kwanza kisha sisi tulio hai tulio salia katika Kristo tutafufuliwa uh, I mean, kisha sisi tulio hai tulio salia tutanyakuliwa pamoja nao katika mawingu ili tumlaki Bwana Yohani na hivyo tutakuwa pamoja na Bwana milele basi farijaneni kwa maneno haya hayo ndiyo maneno ambayo Paulo alikuwa akiwahimiza kanisa kwamba usikae kama watu ambao kumaanisha kwamba mtu anapolala jinsi ambavyo huwa tunalala kila jioni tuna matumaini ya kuamuka kesho asubuhi vivyo hivyo tunaporudisha mwili huu mavumbini tuna matumaini ya ye, ya ufufuo kuna ufufuo siku ya pili na ufufuo utakapofufuliwa utajulikana kwamba utakuwa katika ile eternal death ambaye ni ya milele ama utakuwa eternal life kwa sababu Biblia inatuambia katika Danieli 12:2 kwamba wengine watafufuliwa <coughs> wataenda katika furaha ya milele na wengine watafufuliwa waende aibu ya milele hapa ndipo baada ya ufufuo ndipo za wataamua jinsi ambavyo uliamua hapa duniani ndipo itaamua mahali ambapo utakapoenda kwa hivyo <coughs> tutaomba alafu tuteremushe uh, and then tutasema yale baba wetu katika jina la Yesu Kristo Mungu wetu ambaye ulitujalia ukatupa madam huyu Jen ambaye tumekuwa naye kwa huo muda wote. Asante Mungu kwa kuwa uhai wetu uko kwako na wewe unatufahamu kila mmoja wetu. Tazama Mwenyezi Mungu tuahitimiza neno lako ambaye nasema ya kwamba kwa jasho la uzo wako utakula hadi wakati ambako utarudishwa katika mafumbi kwa maana wewe huu mafumbi na wewe unarudi mahali pale. Mungu wewe ulimjalia kuishi hapa kwa miaka hiyo. Ni asante tena kwa kuwa Mwenyezi Mungu sasa Imefika wakati ambako Mwenyezi Mungu tuarejeshe mwili wake katika mafumbi. Mungu ni asande kwa kuwa wewe ndio unajua maisha yake. Mungu tuomba ya kwamba utupe nguvu, tuomba ya kwamba utupe rehema zako, ushindi wako na wewe Mwenyezi Mungu kaweze kuonekana katika maisha yetu. Bwana utubariki na utuongoze na hata tunaamini ya kwamba sisi wale ambao tumeokoka siku moja wakati moja baada ya ufufuo na baada ya kani, ya Kristo kurudi mara ya pili tutakuwa pamoja. Bwana utusaidie na utukumbushe. Maana Mwenyezi Mungu kifo hiki cha tukumbushe ya kwamba sisi tu wasafiri ulimwengu huu sio wetu. Sasa Mungu tunakutegemea wewe. Mungu ukafariji jamii hii. Ukatufariji pia na sisi kwa sababu yeye ni mmoja ya sehemu yetu. Mungu katuinua zote katika jina la Yesu naomba na kuamini. Kwa jasho la uso wako utakula chakula hata utakapoirudia ardhi ambayo katika hiyo ulitwaliwa kwa, kwa maana huu mavumbi wewe nawe mavumbi, mavumbi utarudi kwa hivyo mwili huu tunarudisha mavumbini jinsi ambavyo neno la Mungu limetuambia katika jina la Mungu Baba Mwana Roho Mtakatifu ikiongojea siku ya ukufuo bas ma jamii mchanga
Baba wetu wa mbinguni jina lako ni jina kuu. Asante Yesu ni kwa sababu ya kazi yako ambayo unafanya hapa duniani. Baba wa mbinguni asante ni kwa sababu we ni Mungu wa faraja. Nitaenda kufariji jamii hii. Nitaenda kufariji Mwenyezi Mungu asante ni kwa sababu ya tumaini wa milele. Tunapoweka mwili huu Mwenyezi Mungu hapa, mahali atapumzika hapa, ngojea Mwenyezi Mungu tarumbeta na ufufuo ambaye ni ya kwanza. Bwana tuwaomba baraka yako. Waomba amani katika familia hii. Waomba Mungu uweze kusaidia, uweze kuwainua. Mwenyezi Mungu wasifungukiwe bali Mwenyezi Mungu utaenda kuwapa mamlaka kutoka kwako mbinguni. Bwana ufanye kazi hii kwa utukufu na ishara ya jina lako katika jina la Mungu Baba, Mungu Mwana na Mungu Roho Mtakatifu. Amen. Tafadhali wanaume karibuni tafadhali vijana tukaribia hapa tusaidiane Tafadhali mtu yote tafadhali tuje hapa Tafadhali vijana karibieni pande hii vijana tafadhali karibieni huku Bwana Yesu anashukuriwa Tafadhali Bwana Yesu anashukuriwa hai 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 wewe kwa moyo Bwana Yesu anashukuriwa
Sasa Mwenyezi Mungu utubariki. Mwenyezi Mungu utuongoze. Watu wanaosafiri Mwenyezi Mungu tembea na wao. Jamii hii utasemama na wao. Hata majirani wote utasemama na wao. Waje Mwenyezi Mungu tukawa na upendo huo ambao ulikuwa kwa mtumishi wako. Bwana utubariki na utuongoze. Katika jina la Yesu naomba na kuamini. Mungu ni kwa sababu ya sisi ambao tumeshikana mikono hivi. Baba tunakuja kwa imani moja. Ya kwamba Bwana umetukirimia karama ambayo ya kipekee. Ambapo Mungu wewe uliona ni vizuri upate kuchukua moja wetu. 
Na baba wewe hautolewi makosa kama vile neno lako linavyosema. Yes. Wewe ni mwaminifu na wa haki. Yes. Na unatenda upendavyo. Yes. Kwa hivyo bwana sisi tunajiachilia mikononi mwako sasa. Yes. Tukikabidhi hata boma hii mikononi mwako. Yes. Unajua mzee, unajua watoto, yes. unajua jamii, yes. unajua hata majirani. Yes. Baba wakati huu ambao ambapo wanahitaji ufariji. Yes. Baba unasema wewe ndiye mfariji mwema. Yes. Kwa hivyo tunajiachilia kwako tukijua wewe utaendelea kufariji boma hii. Yes. Baba pengo ambalo limewachwa na mama ama na madam. Yes. Baba wewe kila wakati utakuwa ukicha na kulisiba. Yes. Wakati ambapo anahitajika katika boma hii utakuwa ukishuka na kutenda kazi. Yes. Asante Bwana kwa sababu unasema hautatuacha. Asante. Hasa wale ambao wameliitia shina lako. Yes. Unasema tunapolala tunalala pamoja na wewe. Tunapotembea tunatembea pamoja na wewe. Tunapokula tunakula pamoja na wewe. Kwa hivyo Mungu wewe ni waachapo. Na kwa hivyo sisi tuseme nini? Bali tunakabidhi tu mikononi mwako kila shughuli. Kila hitaji katika boma hii. Kila hoja ambao wanaomba kwayo. Baba tunaliachilia mikononi mwako. Ili kila kitu kipate kwenda sambamba na mapenzi yako. Asante kwa sababu ulitusikia katika maombi ya kwanza, ulitusikia katika maombi ya pili, na umetusikia sasa hata katika maombi haya ya kufunga ibada hii. Hivyo baba tutendee mapenzi yako. Chukua mamlaka baba na kutawala nyumba hii. Wacha kila wakati baba tupate kukuona wewe. Tunapotembea hapa tupate kusikia uwepo wako. Kwa hivyo kama kuna yeyote ambaye katika boma hii hajakuli hajakuamini baba naomba katika jina lako ya kwamba utamtembelea katika nji yake specially na baba upate kugusa moyo huo na baba upate kuondoa kipanzi hicho na baba wacha tukuone wewe ukisema akisema ya kwamba amekuli ameamini Asante Yesu kwa sababu tunakupenda Asante kwa sababu tunapoliitia jina lako wewe unakuja Kwa hivyo wakati huu chukua mamlaka na kutawala na baba chochote ambacho wanahitaji katika boma hii wapatikanie. Mm. Asante Bwana kwa sababu utakapokuwa tunaondoka wewe uwepo wako utabaki mahali hapa. Dios. Na baba utakuwa ukitamalaki usiku na mchana. Dios. Wacha baba tuseme hayo ambayo tumesema na mengine uwe muombezi wetu. Kwa jina la baba, la mwana na roho mtakatifu. Amen. 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 Uh, I'm the son of the late Madam Jane Kombai. She was very kind to me. Every time he came to school he was ready to encourage me. He gave me everything. Every time I went to school, he was, he, he was always accompanying me. I love you so much, Mom. You are grateful to me. You are very grateful to me. May God rest in peace. He shaped up on my second born child of the late Mrs. Mrs. Jane Kombai. She was our loving mom. We loved her. She stood by us through thick and thin. She was there every step of the way. Yeah, we feel, we feel sad because we've lost a great person in our life. But our legacy and the love we feel for her will continue to be in our hearts. We will miss you. We will miss you a lot, Mom. But I know you are in a better place. Fair be well. Rest in peace, Mom. I love you much. Lucy. Okay, my name is Lucy. I'm the firstborn of this family. I'd like to dedicate this message to mom. It was our dear mom. We lost you, but you know that one day, one time we'll meet. That's why God saw it was better for you to rest. And we we'll, we'll always know that God's time is always the best. We loved you, but God loved you more. Thank you. Rest in peace, mom. I'm Evans Kichumba Kombai. I'm the fourth born of this family. What I can say, Mom, we love you, but God loved you more. And God knows the reason why he took you that day. God, may I ask God, let my mom, let our mom rest in peace. My name is Linda Kambai. Mom, we love you most, but God loves you. Rest in peace. Mom, we love you most. But God loves you more. That's, 
That's good. That's mom. This is mom. We love you most. But God love you most. Yes, it's a way.